Welcome to this video about the Quavo 3 socket arm. In this video, I'm going to explain how to basically attach the socket arm to the hand. I'm going to assume you've already assembled the hand with stringing from a previous video. Um, in this video, we're going to put the arm together, um, attach the ratchet on the wrist, and pretty much have a complete functional arm by the end of this video. I'm assembling this adult size arm. It's easier to see the parts on the video and everything. Here's a child size arm. Everything is pretty much the same. Um, it's going to function the same, go together the same, just on a smaller size. All right, let's get started. Here's some wax paper I'm laying down just so I don't get glue all over my desktop. I'm mixing some two-part epoxy. Really just let it um, goo everywhere and kind of clean it up later. You can scrape it off with a razor blade later or um, or just clean it off before you're done. Now I'm going to set this here to dry and do the magic of video, come back 24 hours later. Here's my hand that I have already assembled and strung together. The first thing we're going to do is put the wrist bolts in here. You should have in previous videos already tried this to make sure everything fits and sanded it down to be nice and smooth because this is the last time you're going to put it together. I have the, the button in and then the cover on top. Now I'm going to thread the fishing line through the arm. I think it's easier to do before you attach the two together, right? So I can reach through this hole and down through the screw hole pretty easily and then feed that through the hole in the center of the wrist bolt. Now I'm just going to tie this off at the top of the Whipple tree and through the magic of video, I'm going to put some CA glue on that to hold this knot and um, then screw this arm and hand back together. When I'm putting these two together, there's a little hole in the wrist bolt that lines up with this hole in the wrist itself. And I'm going to put a number four pan head sheet metal screw in this hole. But I want to get them to line up first. And I can't really see it. So the best way I've found is to take a sharp device like this and put it in there and rotate through till I can feel it pop into the hole inside. There are holes in the wrist bolt every quarter of the way around, so it shouldn't be too hard to find one that lines up. Now I've got it together, I'm going to test that this uh, wrist bolt works, and it should all be fine. Nice and smooth, I like it. I've got a little cover that you can print to cover this uh, little screw if you want to. It's up to you. Um, and I'm just going to pop it in there. All right, everything's good. Let's put the hand together. Put the lid on the hand, make sure the fingers are still moving okay. Putting these wrist bolts in, which I've previously measured and I've previously cleaned all this in a video, so they should go in nice and easy. The hand is assembled. I want to make sure all these fingers move nice and clean. If they don't, worst case, I got to take it apart and sand things down a little more. But they should move really easy and clean. All right, let's build the ratchet at the elbow. Um, this piece should fit over top and move really nice and smooth and easy. Right? Um, if you haven't, take it off and sand it some more. It should move super smooth. This um, actual ratchet part is a single print. It fits in. The only odd part is it's got this um, metal two millimeter rod down the middle of it. So you'll need to cut a piece of two millimeter rod. You can buy these online as um, axles. Um, they're called two millimeter axles. I get them on Amazon. Or you can get a coat hanger. Um, your average wire coat hanger is also two millimeter rod. It's pretty easy to find, but um, I just couldn't get to work any other way. Right? I tried this as a printed part and it just kept breaking. All right, let me show you this um, tensioner piece. You can see the thread kind of goes through the middle of this tensioner and all you have to do is wind it and unwind it um, to get it to the tension to change. Right? You don't have to tighten any screws or anything. I really like this feature because it doesn't require a screwdriver to change the tension. So we can see how the latch works. It sort of latches, right? I move it, open it, and the elbow moves freely. We're going to use another smaller pan head number four sheet metal screw to hold the cover to this latch on. Everything is together. I can move my elbow and things open and close. It ratches, the fingers open and close. We have our arm fully assembled. Thank you for watching this video. I'm glad you have so much interest in the Kwawu 3, and I hope to see you in the next video where we will finish this up, put the cuff on, and basically do the final steps to finish this. See you in the next video.